Jim, we've had a few games recently where the word bittersweet maybe applies. Is that another one today? Yeah, definitely. Um, quite disappointed that we've uh, we've let a lead slip twice and then uh, then gone behind. Um, we wanted to come here and win, really, uh, but we've come away with a point, which is a bit disappointing. But, yeah. Do you take any many positives from the game, though? Because for long periods, it was an excellent away performance. Um, Little bits, but uh, I don't think you can really because we should be coming here and winning. And we just got—I think we just got to blow teams away, really. And, and the goals we can see the easy, um, and it's, it's quite frustrating through the squad. Like everyone's quite frustrated in there, um, but it's something we need to rectify and um, keep working on and take into the rest of the season. I suppose their three their three goals are. Are classic examples that maybe on the training field you look to avoid conceding pretty much immediately after we've scored a long throw and a header and then and then a penalty. It's, yeah. I can see where the frustration's coming from. Yeah, it's, uh, there's things leading up to it as well. So there's things before the throw-ins and before the corner. Um, so yeah, I think doing it's what you said. Game management we've got to do a lot better at. Um, yeah, and work on that. But I think that's only something you can really work on in games. So we've got to, we've got to do that sooner rather than later. We we talked for the last eighteen months pretty much about how this is a young squad. That game management is that something that you you can only learn through experience, maybe? Um, yeah, possibly. Um, I don't think. I mean, we are a youngish squad, but I think we've got a lot of league games there um, between everyone. So. Uh, yeah, I think experience may be something, but we've got enough out there that we should be doing enough to win these games, and at the moment we're not. Is there some credit to Maidenhead? They they do what they do very well. They've got a good a good record here at York Road. Yeah, it's a tough place to come. Um, everywhere's tough to go on the road in this league. Um, you know, credit to them getting back in the game um, and grinding grinding out a point. Um, so yeah, they they, sh they could be trust. They done they done quite well today. For yourself, two goals, another strong performance in midfield. Are you happy with your personal performance this afternoon? Yeah, I'm quite happy, but I still want to win these games. Uh, so I'd be even more happy if that was the case. So you trade the two goals? Yeah, definitely. For three <laughs> points, definitely. But those two goals, the first half, I suppose both goals really, it's an example of a midfielder being in the right place at the right time, kind of timing his run forward. Yeah, um, that's, that's something I want to do. Uh, Get more goals, especially when I play play a higher role. Um, so yeah, part part of that role is to get in the box and try and nick him with a few goals. So fortunately, I've done that today. And the, it was in the end the 90th minute where yeah. you uh, you put one in off the off the post. Yeah. Did you sense that there was a that momentum building, having having conceded the penalty, um, to then you believe that you could always get back into it? Yeah, maybe. Um, I wouldn't say momentum though, because I don't think second half we ourselves I didn't think we had much momentum in the whole half um, so maybe it was a little bit um, we realized we had to score now so we've done it which um, I don't know why it takes the 90th minute to, to get to that role to get to that point where we think oh we should score we need to score now so. but then the ball comes in I think Scott takes a touch and then you're you're there ready to pounce you, yeah, you saw well, that Renz was excellent today um, his hold at play his little flick ons were really good so um, just timing my runs off him was quite easy, so he set me up for the first and then the second as well, likewise. So yeah, that's that's what he's good at, and um, he did well today. So it was it he made my job easy? I think it was Ebbsfleet where we spoke about your your excellent start to the season. That's been rewarded by a call up to the England C training camp. Hopefully, more to follow after that. That's a great personal honour for you. Yeah, we're quite um, quite chuffed about that. Um, quite a few days away now, and I'll be back with the boys on Thursday. Just hope it goes well and try and impress as much as I can with one of Of course, you've got two teammates who I think are, are going on with you, but is it good, good experience for you to be in a different environment, yeah. train and work with different players? Yeah, definitely. Um, like you say, with different players, I can I can work out what they're, what's going on with them at their clubs. They might be learning something different, so I can always learn off other players. And it's nice to have Shay and Jake there with me. It makes it a little bit less daunting, which is which is good. So yeah, I'm happy about that. And then the final of the International Challenge Trophy comes soon after that. Are you looking to be involved? Um, I'm not looking 
too far ahead. Um, I want to. I mean, I'm, I'm delighted to get called up for England, but uh, I want to. I want to rectify this here and um, start winning games with Old Shot as well. So I'm not looking too far ahead. First, there's a, there's a whole month left. Obviously, the, the real, you only get picked for England if you're playing well for your club. Yeah. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, that's that's why. I, that's likely, like you say, that's why I need to do that. Well, good luck. Enjoy the time. We'll see you back soon next week. Thank you very Thank much. You, Jim. Thank you.